Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the beginner series for Insurgency Sandstorm. Hope you're well today. And today we had scheduled to do a, a character customization build for you. Now, I did get a number of questions regarding loadouts and most specifically finding the right weapon that fits your playstyle. So today we're going to skip ahead a little bit and I'm going to show you a very powerful tool, tool that will help you establish exactly what weapon you need to use and what suits you and what attachments work for you. And um, yeah, it's hidden right in the menus here. So, hope you're going to enjoy this one. Hope it's useful. Let's do it. So thanks for the support in the last couple of videos regarding loadouts. And I know a number of you had a few questions regarding well, what weapons should I choose G4? What what would you recommend? Well, I, uh, I can give you some recommendations and I will do that and I will do that in future videos. But if you are really looking to try and find the weapon that suits you, it's very hard to kind of advise you. I can give you build uh, um, weapon builds, uh, and, but it might not suit you personally. And it might take some time just to, to uh, dial the loader in and tweak it and find the right weapon and everything else. However, today what I'm going to do is there is a much simpler way of doing this and you can do it on your own. You don't need G4, you don't need any of these... Uh, uh, kind of videos on YouTube or wherever um, telling you what the loadout should look like you can actually do testing in game before you even start and that's using a, a very powerful tool in the menus um, the menus here in tutorials and then you go to range now range is the middle one there make sure it's highlighted it will go to white like that and hit the button and it will load up for you now uh, um, I skipped over this on my, my introduction to the menus video. Um, I, I kind of gave you a, a brief overview, but this is actually a very, very powerful tool for you to find the right weapon, the right weapon balance, the right attachments, etc. So once you've clicked on this and it's loaded in, you're going to see this screen here and pay, um, pay attention to the very bottom there, which says you have 38 supply points. And um, if you remember when we came in here before, I'll just get out of the screen very quickly. A uh, little bit of lag for some reason. Um, you remember we're on the uh, we're on the range here. We've got our rifle range. There's an observer. There's a whole lot of weapons here, and there's a whole lot of weapons downstairs here. In fact, every weapon in in every weapon in the game is actually sitting right here, and you can actually run down into the here and. You know, you can pick your distance and do whatever you like. You run around and shoot to your heart's content. Now, get back to the original menu that we loaded in with. Um, for me, it's the three um, lines on my Xbox controller on the right, the little button. It will be different on the PlayStation controller, but whatever it is to get to the stream screen. Um, and then you can build a loadout for yourself. And you can add whatever you like. So, if you want to do the M4 A1, you can. But every weapon in the game is here. And you can play around to your heart's content with them. Look at this. There is a ton of weapons. So, we're going to quickly do a, a, a build. Just like we showed you in the last video. And, um, yeah, you can try all this kind of stuff. I'm just going to throw a whole lot of stuff on real quick. Chuck the drum mag on. You can see we, we're not going to have to worry about anything to do with... Um, what does the flat top do? Uh, it's a front sight. Uh, okay, we can just check out, check on what we want once we're happy. We can actually set, um, save it as a um, preset if we like. And we'll do that, just show you how to do it. Like that. And say OK, save loadout. And I can go back in and you can see, I can see the loadout saved for me right there. Um, there's the default. There's the saved one. Just like we did building our own loadouts. And now we can just run around and shoot the gun and see how it feels to us. See how it responds to aiming. 
you can run up the stairs and do this kind of stuff. You can do all kinds of stuff, but it's one of those little hidden gems. And, and um, I apologise that I didn't pick up that in my menus um, in my menus video. But you know, you can go and shoot some fruit if you like, if that's what you desire, and just see how the balance feels. If it's not quite right, go back in. You know, maybe change whatever you need to recall grip to maybe aiming grip. There we go. See how that works for you. And so on and so forth. So very powerful tool guys. Very quick video today but it is uh, something that I thought I wanted to share with you. And I think you can run quite far into this, um, into this area. This area is massive. In fact I didn't realise how big this area was until I came in here. So there you go guys. If you want to find the right weapon for you, we want to play around with potential loadouts, come to the firing range, fill your boots, see what happens, and uh, yeah, you can just play around to your heart's content. So a very quick and dirty video today, but I'm sure you'll agree. This is a very, very powerful tool that's hidden in the menus. Um, I don't think I've seen too many people talk about it. Hopefully this helps you. You can spend a couple hours in here figuring out what weapons work for you and then once you get in the game you're going to be uh, absolutely ripping them up guys. If it's been useful let me know down in the, the comments down below. Like ratings always appreciated. If you want to see more or if you want to keep up with this series make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. I'll see ya!